beaucoup, oui, oui. C'est bon, c'est bien. bien. Euh, ok, je suis monté de suite là. On va monter les flammes. Bon. up slightly yeah. so that the root balls are rolling into the bucket and that way as soon as you get them out you can lower and tip it further and I'll get them to slide into the bucket yeah like that This is the biggest one, isn't it? Just to be able to pull it out without it thing, I'll reattach it to get it out, out. I keep wondering if you tell me. I mean, I said we went for big plants. I meant we went for big plants. Thank you.
That is just cracking instantly. Oh, that must be some weight in that. But I do like the darkness there a bit. Um, I feel like it could go more towards the corner of the stream and almost be when it's spread, the bottom half is on or slightly over it. Did absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. we'll load out, take, load, break down as it is so that they don't just go everywhere, yeah?
So as you've seen, we ordered a massive amount of plants, just over 300 plants. Most of them are hedging plants, but we've got everything in a large size, so it's like an instant impact. The biggest thing by far is a yew tree, which is about four meters high. Um, they grow quite big, but very, very slow. So it's important to get kind of the biggest size we could. We started the hedge plants and that's Portuguese laurel, normal laurel and yew mixed all along kind of clumps of each. But it'll be mainly yew, which is this really dark, dense, slow growing evergreen hedge. Yew is quite important specifically here because we spent all that work uncovering the yew tree at the back, which was part of the original landscaping. So it ties in really nicely. And all the rest of this stuff are all really natural woodland plants, hazel, purple hazels, dogwoods, rhododendrons, hollies. We've not gone for anything too obscure. We've gone for things that we know definitely grow in a woodland setting and are reliable and are native. So they all should really thrive. Me and Cameron started planting the hedge, but there's a long way to go. Nick's now landscaping all around the ponds and the river to make sure the levels are right. And then we can start adding plants and seeing how things look. We've also got three of these big cherry trees which can give amazing blossom but more so really interesting peeled red bark. And loads of silver birch which we've already got all around the chateau so that ties that in nicely. Obviously it's going to take a long time to get all these in the ground but I think we're going to have real fun doing it. So on that note I will see you tomorrow.